Hello friends, it's good to be with you again today. Now it can be really challenging to live a balanced life, can't it? We can either end up working too hard, striving for more and becoming exhausted, or we can rest too much, become lazy and rely on other people. The author of the book of Ecclesiastes highlights this problem and believes that one handful of rest with one handful of work is the answer. Living this way means that life is balanced. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 6 says, Better one handful with tranquility than two handfuls with toil and chasing after the wind. Good advice. So to have a balanced life, we need to live by these two passages of scripture. The first one is from 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7. Cast all your anxiety on him, God, because he cares for you. And the second one is uh, from verse 8 of the same passage. Uh, Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Because when we fail to do either of these things, we've opened the door for the enemy to attack us. Too much of anything, even a good thing, is a problem. For example, work is good, but too much causes stress, which can result in sickness, resentment, discouragement and the breakdown of our relationships. Food is good, but too much of it can lead to health problems. It's good to be organised, but if we become a perfectionist, we can be become fearful of failing, and that can lead to stress and arguments with others. You see, any area of our lives that gets out of balance will rob us of the joy that God wants us to have. Maintaining a balanced life is one of the biggest challenges that we'll probably face, but God can help us to be able to do it. So why don't you just take some time out, take a look at your life and ask the question, in what areas am I out of balance? And then ask God to help you to get back in to balance. Let's pray and say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen.